Can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, I got a problem with a tractor. Yeah, what seems to be a problem? I think it's a battery or starter. Okay, you got it with you? Yeah, it's uh, right outside. All right, I'll get my son to bring it in. Terrell! Terrell, got to bring the tractor in. You want to show me what it's doing, sir? Yeah, this is it. Oh, it does. Well, leave her here. We'll fix it up and we'll call you when it's ready. All right. There ain't nothing wrong with this battery and there ain't nothing wrong with his starter. All it's right. the valve. The valves are out of adjustment. All right. You know how that works? There's a compression release on the camshaft. And when them valves get out of adjustment, it doesn't bump that compression release to make it start. So you got to take off the hood, take off the valve cover, and set them valves at 4,000. What the book says, 5,000. I don't care what the book says. I said set them at 4,000. And call me when you got it done. After you take the valve cover off, first thing you're going to want to do is take the spark plug out. It makes it easier. Then you want to spin the engine over till one valve's fully closed and one's fully open. Wow, look how sloppy that is. That ain't four thousandths. All these pretty much work on the same principle. You got a lock nut and an outside nut. So you loosen it. So you get it where you need it. You tighten the outside nut. You want it to where it just slides in and out easily with little resistance. You want to set it at four thousandths. And you tighten it up. And you move on to the next valve. Wow, this one's way out of adjustment. This one's real sloppy here. I'm just going to tighten that up some there. Oh, oh, a little too tight, a little too tight. Tighten that one up in there, just like that. Snug this up like so. Oh, mm mm, yeah, I can smell it now. Might want to put a new gasket on unless you're able to preserve the one you had originally. Oh, that one coming off a little there, but as long as it's still good, it should be all right. You want everything clean before you put it back in there. That way there's no dirt or grime or anything that gets up in the engine. All right, Dad, I think we're ready. Got all set, all back together, ready to go. Yep, just put the spark plug on now, then we're going to crank her over and see how she runs. Jump on her. All right, here we go. is sometimes these lawnmowers will run for five minutes and then they just shut down like they're running out of gas. So one thing you want to check is make sure that vent hole in the gas cap is clear. Like this one here is plugged. There's a problem right there, that booger. Problem fixed. Now there's your dinner. <laughs>